this is really amazing you guys i'm so excited and can't wait to spend my weekend at the mall okay. oh, what the hell this is crazy oh my god what this wow. is insane <laughs> Good morning guys, this is a day we're going to the Mara, we're going to see the wonder of the world, the wild beast migration. People come from all over the world just to come to Kenya, to my country, to watch the wild beast migration. Do you know that this is actually said to be a wonder of the world? They were supposed to add it to the wonders, I don't know if they did. Leave a comment if you know and let me know. So I'm so excited to be going to the Mara, you guys. Ah, So I'm packed up, I'm ready to go, everything is set. I don't know how you're feeling this morning, but me, I'm feeling amazing. Someone just brought me a box of cupcakes. Oh, Enchanted Bakery. These guys are simply the best, man. Look at that. Look at that. 12 freaking cupcakes. I can't wait to eat all this. But anyway, I've got to go, guys. So, yeah, I think we, we, we are, we, we've been told we need to leave. The car is already outside. You know, we haven't even eaten breakfast, you guys. So, I think I'll be eating this in the car. A few moments later. Masai Mara National Reserve is one of the most popular tourism destinations, not only in Kenya, but in the whole of Africa. This is a magical place. This is, you know, where movies come to life. You know, the wild books that you read, they come to life at Masai Mara. So at 8 a.m., we embarked to this magical place. And I can't find words to explain how excited I am. Man. So we are only six people in this car, in this Matatu. And we are all extremely excited been to the Mara before, but I have never witnessed the wild beast migration. I just see it on TV, on CNN, you know, on Nat Geo Wild. This is the day I'm going to see it with my own eyes and I'm so excited. People from all over the world come here just to see this. Yo, you don't understand how excited I am. Oh, this is the popular Egerton University. Never been here before. Never gone in, but it looks really good. Leave a comment. Let me know if you went to the school of, or if you've heard of it. <laughs> anyway, we are in the Great Rift Valley. And in about three hours, we should be at Masai Mara. I'm so excited. Guys, so this used to be part of Mao Forest. But you know, guys, they cut down the trees. Nini, nini. Now it's no longer part of the forest. How long do you think we still have to get to the Mara? Two and a half. Two and a half hours. So we've got like two and a half hours to go before we get to the Mara. So on our way to Masai Mara, we passed the Great Rift Valley and I've got to tell you, the view is something else. Extremely beautiful. Looks like something out of a storybook, you know. Um, we also passed some local towns. And I stopped over at some point. Some guys were buying kips. You know, um, we had our car cleaned and the journey continued. Yo, look at that goat. Surely, surely, even if you're going to kill it, even if you're going to have it for dinner, as in, come on, animal rights. Guys, tell me, is it just me or do you guys also have imaginations of how life would be like if you came into this world as an animal? You know, a goat, a hen, a bird, maybe even a lion. I don't know. <laughs> Am I weird or are you guys also like me? Leave a comment. So this trip is thanks to Obed in the wild. If you ever come to Kenya, you want to go to the Masai Mara or anywhere else, holla at him. I'm going to leave the link in the description box. Yeah, 
so this is my second time at the mara um first time i was here was about two years ago and the roads were really really bad man it was just annoying but this time i've got to tell you i'm so impressed the roads are way better we've come across so many um you know sections of the road where we had to branch out because it's blocked it's being constructed and that is very impressive it shows that you know the government is doing something and uh that's amazing i'm impressed so it means that now it's easier safer and faster you know to get to the mara by road Ah, so we just finally got to the Masai Mara National Reserve and this place looks amazing. I particularly love the view of the Masai people like when you're coming through and then there are cars parked on each side of the road. so what happened here at the entrance is that they took our identification cards and we had to pay 20 dollars because you're spending two nights three days two nights so that's the price you're supposed to pay and uh, that is the price of you know a kenyan i guess foreigners pay a different price yes and then they let us in so we are finally officially in the mara i'm so excited so the resort here will be spending the night is right <laughs> almost in the middle of the mara and on our way there we could already see wild animals like zebras or wild beasts and you know this just got us even more excited i mean what we're just coming in we're not even here yet you know <laughs> guys so in case you don't know it yet we have an airstream here inside the mara so if you don't want to come by road you have the option to come by air that's pretty dope so it's it any days can't see it right now but it's somewhere about time did you know that they don't come in guys so we are finally inside here I was scared because I thought you'd literally be staying inside the bush, you know. But you're surrounded, so I don't think there's anything to be scared of. And it looks quiet, peaceful. Can't wait. I just washed my hands. I'm feeling really good. I'm about to go in. I'm so excited. This place looks good. I have a good feeling about this place. I feel like the rooms will be wow. Masai Mara is already giving me some positive vibes. Yani, you guys, you don't even get. You don't bab. You know what I mean? Yo, guys, guess who I met? I met some fans watch my channel. Hi, Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> guys so now that we are here first thing we do is just come and have some lunch we are late so most people have eaten and left already but we are so happy happy and hungry to be here the place looks amazing and i'm hoping the food is gonna be tasting even better oh i love how the table looks um the table has been sanitized So one of the things I really love most about this place um, is the variety of food that they have. They have displayed, you know, different kinds of food made in Kenya, eaten by Kenyans. So if you're a foreigner, you've got a wide range to choose from. Okay. What the hell? This is crazy. Oh my God. What? This wow. is insane. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That was dope. That was so dope. I don't want to talk too much about the food. Let me just say it was finger licking good. What? <laughs> 
you guys uh-uh mm -mm. what scrumptious guys this food is good it's so tasty yo guys so we are from eating i feel so full you guys it's crazy you eat as much as you want it was a buffet um the only thing that you have to pay for was the drinks yeah so right now we're going to the room these guys are gentlemen they carried my bag so i'm just walking like this it was 81 oh man it's like a see-through guys it's like a see-through and it looks so good from inside here oh. Let's open it. What do you guys think about this place? Is it a yay or a nay? Leave a comment below and let me know. <laughs> Guys, I'm looking so hot today. I'm not sure you guys can see me well. <laughs> no? <laughs> guys, this monkey is trying to come in. I think he thinks we haven't seen it. Yeah, we are here and he's trying to come in. What if you're not here? That's why you are warned. You've got to like lock the rooms. Always. <coughs> I think this are better. Guys, look at this monkey. <gasps> Come, where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? Huh? He wants to steal the vendor. What do you want to steal? You need water? Fine, take. Now you're going. I thought you want water. Okay, bye bye. Bye. I gave you a chance. You missed it. So now I'm just going to lock you out. Bye. Two hours later guys it's around 4 p.m is it 4 yeah i think it's 4 p.m um we are going for the evening drive i'm extremely excited i'm wearing this because i'm not sure how cold it will be yeah so let's go i've been told the mara never disappoints so i have huge expectations <laughs> Guys, I'm so ready to go for this drive. You don't even get, you don't even bad, you don't even understand. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Guys are excited. Guys, I feel like here in Kenya, God resides in the Mara. Look at this. As in, I've seen beauty that I lack words even to describe. This is just, just wow. You know, <laughs> leave a comment. Let me know what you think. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, camera shy. Okay, we're moving around the Mara. Very interesting. So, right now in the afternoon, we've only come across a waffle. We've seen an elephant and a giraffe. That was dope. But we're still searching for lions. So apparently I didn't know this. So we've just been told by the driver that this is called a game drive because it's like a game. I like how we put it. So the game is like hide and seek. Where animals hide and we seek. So yeah, so we are seeking for lions.
guys so we just got to this place we saw all these cars lined up we stopped and apparently there's a cheetah that was right here <gasps> I've seen the tail. Okay, but now it's gone down. I don't know why it's gone down. I've been told it's because it's a cheetah and it cheats people <laughs> by this guy over here. Yeah, it's a cheetah. It's true. Yeah, it's so it's like it's got just gone into the grass, which is crazy. I feel like, yeah, you just can't walk. In the Mara, don't go out and, you know, you don't see anything and then you risk it at it going out now. Cheetahs are like in the grass, you guys. So you throw a stone, you see if it will come back up. You only got to see this in the Mara. Wow. You can't make this stuff up. This wall. is crazy. I like the way. I, I like the oh, zooming. Oh no, totally. Yeah, wow. this is this is incredible. Oh my God, guys! I've never seen a cheetah like this, so close. Oh my God, what? Oh my goodness, and it's so beautiful. It looks so good. This is insane. But apparently, guys, that these are the kids, the cheetahs' kids. Yeah. They don't even look like the mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's cause the cheetah cheat. <laughs> they say it, they say it, they say it. Cheat. Oh my god. Yeah, Guys. Yo. Wow. It's running after something. <laughs> It's around 6 p.m. The sunset is so beautiful here and we've got some information. Some lions have been spotted. So we head out to have a glimpse of the lions. Um, guys, I've got to tell you, I think it's true what they told me. The Mara never disappoints. I'm so impressed. Only the first day and I have seen so much. I can't wait for tomorrow. Um, but at this point, <laughs> my camera just went off. <laughs> 